I'm pleased to welcome back our good friend, Master Trooper David Peters, who is a public information officer with the Pennsylvania State Police at Troop N. Trooper Peters, so glad to have you here with us. Each year at this time, we talk about the summer weather and there are things for people to keep in mind as they travel. So uh, what is your list of important uh, reminders for travelers as they head out during the summer weather? As everyone knows, your, your traffic's going to be increased. Uh, whether that's around, you know, particularly in general around a holiday, if they're traveling uh, to and from someone's house for a holiday or going on vacation somewhere and they choose to travel uh, via car, you know, be, be prepared. Uh, that's the most important thing. You know, you know, check your vehicle. Make sure not only is it functioning properly, but you have all the documents. Uh, you should need like your, you know, ins registration card, insurance card, any kind of uh, safety materials in your car, like a safety bag that has flares or anything like that, jumper cables. Uh, to prepare for, you know, your vehicle operating properly. You know, if you know you're going to travel a great distance, you know, give yourself time, uh, you, know, you know, a good night's sleep, well rested, you know, you're in, you're in the right frame of mind to drive your vehicle uh, and be prepared for delays. Uh, it is summertime, uh, you know, more people are on the road, but even more so they're out repairing the roads. Um, so you, you need to be prepared for the work zones that pop up you know, whether that's just pothole patching or, or major construction zone uh, to be operating safely within, you know, the limits of that zone uh, so that the workers can go home as well at the end of their shift uh, trying to repair the road. Uh, it's usually the contention that we see is construction, construction, construction. And, you know, you can go to different sites within PA, you know, PA 511 to, to get, you know, updates on you know road closures or you know lane restrictions to help you navigate that time and uh, let you get there in the right frame of mind and safely. And we were talking earlier too, like there could be severe storms that pop up. And I know a lot of people these days are listening to music on their phone or whatever in their car. Maybe they're not tuned into those alerts coming in. So that's something to keep in mind that there could be a bad storm alert that comes through. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that goes in hand with, you know, driving your vehicle at a distance that you can safely navigate or stop your vehicle from someone in front of you. It could be a stunning thing, you know, such as weather aftermath, you know, trees down, uh, roadways that maybe have poor drainage, have now puddled on the roadway, um, and, you know, operating your vehicle at a, at a even at the speed limit, uh, these sudden storms can cause uh, havoc. Um, you know, drive, we've all driven our vehicle where, you know, you have your windshield wipers on full blast and the rain's coming down so hard that you still can't, you know, your visibility isn't even to the front of your vehicle. You know, if you put your four ways on, you know, it's one way someone put your headlights on in PA and the law, you know, if your wipers are on, your headlights should be on. Again, it creates more visibility for traffic around you. Uh, if everybody's moving slow, four ways is another good way to put on. Usually when people see four ways on a vehicle, they, you know, you know, kind of equate that to some type of an emergency. Uh, so they start bringing their vehicle down in a slow, uh, a slower manner. So, you know, just little things like that. And I know you always remind uh, our viewers about this, but some people still not aware of it, the move over law. Yeah, the move over law. So disabled vehicle, traffic stop, emergency, tow truck, you know, work zone. You know, people might be doing some repair on guide rails. Um, you know, if you can safely move, if you're operating in the, in the right lane, you should safely move over to the left lane. Um to allow that distance for those individuals to, you know, conduct what they're doing there. Um, if you can't move over because traffic is too congested, then, you know, the law states you need to bring your vehicle down to 20, mile, 20 miles an hour under the posted limit. Uh, and again, all those things change at night. So, you know, always driving at a speed where you're not overdriving your headlights. That you could see a safe distance in front of you, you know, especially on blind curves, hills, where you just all of a sudden might happen upon a vehicle partially in the roadway or animals. I mean, we do live in Pennsylvania. There are deer and, and other animal that, you know, cross the roadway uh, unexpectedly. Um, so those little things moving over, keeping yourself safe, uh, lets everybody do the job they need to do and get home uh, or, or where they're going safely. Thanks so much for always coming in to talk to us about all the great advice to keep everybody safe. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me.